day ago, two of the suspects actually died. Of the two suspects, I mean of the three remaining suspects, two died yesterday. The two suspects that died were referrals from other health facilities. They were brought in, crit in critically ill condition. Man who is Kenyan, uh, who actually came into Uganda more than a month ago, but was staying in South Sudan, came in uh, with uh, uh, an, a nervous system infection. But he had a high-grade fever, and he's a truck driver. So that was enough for us to at least make sure we exclude COVID. So as a referral hospital, of course, many we lose uh, patients. Some patients uh, we lose. Uh, the one, one of the two people who were brought had been uh, sick for more than three weeks with a nervous, uh, center, uh, with a, uh, nervous uh, system illness. She has been, he has been sick for more than three weeks, but he came into the hospital one day prior to death. So he actually came in unconscious and uh, we tried to uh, treat him, but uh, uh, he passed on about 24 hours after arrival. The lady had uh, spent weeks after delivery, but uh, was referred from another hospital three days prior to death, so spent about three days on, on the ward. With the underlying conditions, uh, that are enough to take their, their lives. All their lungs were generally okay, uh, which makes uh, the one, one of the two people who were brought had been uh, sick for more than three weeks with a nervous, uh, center, uh, with a, uh, nervous uh, system illness. She has been, he has been sick for more than three weeks, but he came into the hospital one day prior to death. So he actually came in unconscious and uh, we tried to uh, treat him, but uh, uh, he passed on about 24 hours after arrival. The lady had uh, spent weeks after delivery, but uh, was referred from another hospital three days prior to death, so spent about three days on, on the And uh, as a facility, we also uh, want to cry out. Uh, we know the challenges are there. We need the healthcare workers protected, uh, and this is an ongoing challenge. We know the country is struggling with, but uh, the lower level healthcare workers also need to get this personal protective equipment appropriately. Uh, to the healthcare workers, take heart, uh, read, uh, learn, learn uh, more and more about COVID. Uh, COVID is here with us and it might not leave us for some time. So we need to be ready to fight it.